Hello, and welcome to the series on 3D printing, uh, sponsored, brought to you by St. Michael's College in the Makerspace in St. Michael's College. I'm your host. My name is Mike. Today, we are going to go through the program we're going to use to get you uh, your files to be able to run uh, the 3D printer. So our goal for today is to be able to run and show a couple of files that uh, and how to import them. You want a specific type of file. You really want to look for an STL file. There are several other files out there that can be converted, but the one you really want to go for and the one that does the best job for you is what's called an STL file. So today we're going to look at uh, the program that we're going to be working with in the editing program called Mesh Mixer. Uh, that's the first program that you're going to want to use. And when you come into the makerspace at St. Michael's, you'll be uh, directed by the, uh, to, to open this up and to be able to work with it. So it's got a couple of things to it, but let's get into it a little bit and, uh, and we'll go from there. So there are two areas you can import files. You want to import them from somewhere. You've got a couple of sample files as well if you want to practice on something. Or I like to use it if there is a new uh, area in Mesh Mixer that I want to work with. So uh, you've got a bunny here, just, I don't know, some sort of humor that's beyond the scope of us. You've got a sphere that you can play with in an import plane as well that you can work with. If you want to import in your own file, you're just going to want to click right here into import, and it's going to come up with a list of different things that we can work with. So I'm going to pull one of these in. Let's open up this one that's a new character. Okay, so when you get into this, it will show you your, uh, your character or whatever file that you have imported here. You can right click on the mouse and it will uh, drive everything around and it, you can turn it and you can look different ways. You really, you know, this is really important. You really want a file, uh, a mouse attached to your laptop with a rollerball so that you can zoom out and zoom in. I'm doing that right now by just using a rollerball. If you're trying to do it with your uh, mouse pad and may, on your laptop or uh, other device, it may get a little bit hard for you to be able to do this. So you really want to, uh, I would emphasize that you really want a mouse with a rollerball to be able to uh, give you that, that pinpoint control. But outside of that, it's uh, you can move, press and hold the right click button and you'll be able to see uh, a three-dimensional view of your character here. So that's bringing it in for you here. Now, there's a couple of buttons that we want that we're going to look at in our next series, uh, in our next uh, video installment here, to be able to see how we can get this uh, up and back for us. So until then, uh, if you have any suggestions, there's a discussion link on Canvas. Please make sure that you uh, hit that. And until next time, uh, we'll see you soon.